Yeah, we just go there and just start requesting stuff. A thriller done by organ would actually be a pretty cool thing to witness. Right? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. But dun, right, dun. weather-wise out there, we're looking at temperatures in Metropolis at 44 degrees and a actually a calm wind out there this morning. So that is good news there that the actual air temperature will feel like it will, it will, there's not a wind chill out there is what I'm trying to say. And across our region, a lot of us are waking up to temperatures into the mid-40s. Although Union City right now and Poplar Bluff look to be our cooler spots right now at 39 degrees. So it is pretty chilly out there this morning, but again, winds across our region are largely pretty calm out there. Although it may feel slightly cooler in Union City and Poplar Bluff we, where we are experiencing a seven mile per hour wind gust, but elsewhere around the region, most of us are experiencing wind gusts under five miles per hour. And as we look ahead right now towards our radar, we are seeing right now that there is a warm front back towards our west, and that is what will be bringing our chances of rain as we go into the afternoon and into the evening hours and overnight hours. But right now, again, we're not seeing anything in terms of cloud cover or in terms of rainfall on our radar. All of the shower activity is focused back towards our north and west into portions of the Dakotas. But again, we are going to see that warm front that you see here work its way off towards the east. And same with that cold front will be, that will be driving up our rain chances, especially as we get into the latter half of the overnight hours. So for the rest of the day, we are tracking increased cloud cover and breezy conditions, especially with the passage of that warm front. And our scattered showers are going to be with us through most of the morning tomorrow, but I think things will be drying out, especially after that cold front starts to pass, but it'll be pretty slow to work its way through our region. And for the rest of the day, I'm expecting temperatures by lunchtime to be into the 60s and then into the 70s as we get into the three o'clock hour, but we should be cooling back down into the 60s as we get into the six and seven o'clock hours and even back into the 50s. So if we take it hour by hour, you can see parts of southern Illinois will be mostly sunny to start the day and most of our region really will be mostly sunny to start the day. But by six o'clock, I think our skies will be turning mostly cloudy and you can see our temperatures will, will already be back into the mid 60s and you can see that cold front off towards our north. It it will track towards the south and east and we will see these showers and storms work their way into our region through the overnight hours and through the early morning hours tomorrow. But by six o'clock, I think most of us will be done in terms of rainfall and we'll be waking up to temperatures into the upper 40s and lower 50s. But as that cold front starts to work its way through our region, our temperatures will be getting into the 60s tomorrow. Now, I do think most of us will make it to 70 degrees tomorrow, but the areas further towards the west where that cold front will pass first, we may not make it to the 70s tomorrow afternoon, but skies should be partly cloudy and then turning mostly clear by about 9 o'clock. And today, yes, we will see those higher wind gusts with gusts up to 23 miles per hour. But as we get into the afternoon hours tomorrow, we should see those calm winds. So that is good news there. Keep that storm track three at Pandy because we are tracking that 40% chance of scattered showers and storms. But the good news is, is Although we do have a cold front rolling through, it's not really going to drop our temperatures a whole lot. We're really going to be seeing average temperatures as we go throughout the rest of this week into the weekend and even into early next week. And additionally, we will be tracking mostly dry conditions through Friday, Saturday and Sunday. We could see isolated showers, but again, we'll be mostly dry throughout the weekend. So just to recap, we'll be seeing temperatures today into the 70s. Thursday, we'll see temperatures of about 71 with a scattered chance of showers and thunderstorms in the morning hours. We could see a few lingering showers Thursday afternoon into Friday, but I think we're going to be mostly dry. Temperatures on Friday should be into the upper 60s and then into the 70s for the weekend. It will be slightly cooler on Sunday with a high of 66 and a chance of isolated showers. But overall, Rachel and Dave, we're looking at a pretty average week ahead, so it's mm. not too bad out there. We're not really tracking any extreme weather in terms of heat or cold. Garrett, I was so waiting for you to like point to the storm or the uh, <laughs> rain coming in and do this number at it. Like, <laughs> I was waiting for it. We were doing Thriller. We got Thriller stuck in our head now. We're going to get him to dance during this commercial break. Yes. All right, we'll be back right after this.